reserve for doubtful debts and reserve for discounts on creditors balances dear students today we will discuss about reserve for doubtful debts account and reserve for discount on creditors account the treatment of reserve for doubtful debts and bad debts accounts usually causes a great deal of confusion and some further explanation thereon is therefore thought necessary as each bad debt occurs it is debited in the first instance to bad debts account and this account representing a loss is transferred to profit and loss account at the balancing time where however there is a reserve for doubtful debts account already existing in the books bad debts account is not closed by profit and loss account but is transferred to reserve for doubtful debts account if the total of the bad debts account exceeds the credit balance of reserve for doubtful debts account the difference should be transferred to profit and loss account by means of a journal entry debiting profit and loss account and crediting reserve for doubtful debts account the fresh percentage in respect of reserve for doubtful debts for the following period should then be ascertained and the necessary amount should be debited to the profit and loss account and credited to the reserve for doubtful debts account should however the credit balance of reserve be greater than the amount of the bad debts the difference will go to reduce the amount to be debited to profit and loss account in respect of the fresh reserve let us know more about the above accounts through the following illustration the reserve for a doubtful debts account shows a credit balance of 1750 on the 1st january 2016 the bad debts during the year 2016 amounting to 1300 the debtors uh, at 31st december 2016 are 30000 and 5% reserve for doubtful debts is required to be maintained the bad debts in 2017 amounting to 1800 and 31st december 2017 the debtors are 32500 and 5% reserve for doubtful debts is required to be maintained the bad debts in 2018 amounting to 400 rupees and 31st december 18 the debtors are 15000 and 5% reserve for doubtful debts is to be maintained show the working of reserve for doubtful debts account in the ledger and also how this item will appear in the profit and loss account and the balance sheet each of these years let us solve the above illustration and post the transactions in reserve for doubtful debts account year wise one transaction one the reserve for doubtful debts account shows a credit balance of rupees 1750 on 1st january 2016 so we will open reserve for doubtful account doubtful debts account on the debit side debit particular amount on the credit side debit particular amount so this is the credit balance on in the beginning of the year so january 1 2016 by balance brought forward 1750 second transaction the bad debts during the year 2016 amounting to 1300 so this will be recorded on the debit side of the reserve account to bad debts account 1300 the december the data set that was december 2016 are 30000 and 5% reserve for doubtful debts is required to be maintained 5% of 30000 comes 1500 this will be recorded on the debit side of the reserve account to balance carried down 1500 so when we balance the account there is a debit balance 1050 this is a loss reserve to, towards reserve for doubtful debts So this will be transferred to profit and loss account by profit and loss in one zero five zero. This will be recorded on the debit side of the profit and loss account. So we will move on to the next year. Next year. So next year we have in the last year we have balance carried down one thousand five hundred five percent of thirty thousand. This will form the opening balance for the next year, January one by balance brought forward one thousand five hundred, and then bad debts in. 2017 amounting to 1800 this will be recorded on debit side as bad debts account 1800 so next day, there are on 31st december 2017 the debtors are 32500 and 5% reserve for doubtful debts is to be maintained 5% of 32 32500 comes to 1625 so we will record on the debit side as two balance carried down 1625 when we balance the account there is debit balance of 1925 we will transfer this to profit and loss account by profit and loss account and then we will balance the account we will move out next year 
So, here to balance carry down is this one. So, we balance brought down is 1625. Uh, next, the bad debts in 2018 amount into 400. So, bad debts account 400. So, again 31 December, the debtors are 15,000, 5 percent reserve is to be maintained. So, 5 percent of 15,000 comes to 750 rupees. So, there is a the credit balance of reserve, reserve is more than the debit balance. So, the balance 4,475 rupees is, we will transfer this to profit and loss account. To balance brought down 750 rupees. This is how we will record the illustration. The same illustration, let us see how it is recorded in the profit and loss account. To bad debts account 1300, to doubtful debts reserve 5% 30,000, 1500, both add to, together 2800. So, less old reserve, we have old reserve of 1750, we have to deduct this amount from the total bad debts and the new reserve. Then it comes to 1050 as the current year expense or loss in the profit and loss account during 2016. In the next year, when it comes to bad debts account as 1800, reserve on 32,500 is 1625, both put together 3,425, and we have old reserve of 1500. So, we have to deduct this 1500, then we will get 1925 as a loss or expense due for the year 2017 towards bad debts. Next year, there is a reserve by reserve for doubtful debts account. 1625 what we have provided last year and then less bad debts 400 less 5 percent reserve on 15,750 both put together 1,150. So, the difference of 475 is regarded as a gain on the credit side of the profit and loss account during 2018. Again in the balance sheet the same illustration we will record like this 2016 on the credit side on the asset side. Uh, sundry debtors 30,000 less reserve 1,500 to 28,500 is the balance of sundry debtors by the end of 2016. When it comes to 2017, the sundry debtors account is showing 32,500 and 5 percent less reserve for doubtful debts, it will be 30,875. In the 2018, the debtors are 15,000 and the reserve is 750. The balance of debtors account in, to be shown in the balance sheet asset side is 14,250. The reserve for discount on debtors. The, res the reserve for discount on debtors must always be calculated on the good debtors, that is, on the amount of debtors minus the reserve for doubtful debts. Illustration. Show how the following criteria is shown in the balance sheet. The Sunday debtors on 30th December are 25,000. Create a reserve for 5 percent doubtful debts and 5 percent for reserve dis for discount. So, in the balance sheet on the asset side, we will record sundry debtors 25,000 and less doubtful debts reserve 1,250 and then 5 percent results on the discount on the net balance of 23,750, it comes to 1,187.50. The net balance sundry debtors amount to be shown in the balance sheet is 22,562.50. Let us solve one illustration about reserve for discount on creditors. On 1st January 2014, the reserve for discount on creditors had a debit balance of rupees 500, brought over from the previous year. During the year 2014, the discount actually received from creditors amount to 400. The creditors total balances amount to 30,000 on first, 31st December. You are required to maintain a reserve of 2.5 percent for discounts on creditors. Show the necessary ledger accounts and also as to how the item will appear in the profit and loss account. Let us go to reserve for doubt discount on creditors account. So, on 1st January, we had a debit balance. So, on the debit side, January 1 to balance brought down 500 rupees. So, actually, we have received the discount, discount actually received from creditors is 400. So, this will go on the credit side by discounts received 400 rupees. So, next item is the our balance of total 
creditor's balance is 30,000 and we have to maintain 2.5% reserve. 2.5% reserve comes to 750 rupees. So, balance carried down is 750. And then when we net this account, we have a credit balance of 650. To, we have to transfer this to profit and loss account 650 rupees. And then the balance of reserve for creditor's account, we have to carry forward for the next year on the debit side like this. In the profit and loss account, 2014 by discount received 400 less reserve, current reserve, add current reserve 750 rupees, total amount is 1150, less balance on old reserve for discount on creditors, old reserve 500. So, when we net it, it will come to 650 rupees to be recorded as an income on the credit side of the profit and loss account. In the next lecture, we will discuss about adjusting and closing entries and the important points prior to preparation of final accounts.